Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this discussion, our topic is about the three-dimensional force systems. Previously, we have discussed about the two-dimensional force system. So actually, the basic of that is it will be almost the same. But uh, why is it important? Because many problems in mechanics require analysis in a three-dimensional force system. So actually, making the differences is about the directions in the axis when previously in the two-dimensional force system we only use the x and y but here we will use the z axis and this is for example if you have the example like this one how to find the f component of f in the x direction so in it like the previously in a two-dimensional we can use the f cos theta where the cos theta is here and the fy is the f cos theta y here it is and f z is f cos theta z and how to find the f resultant of all of the force here is f x square root of f x square plus f y square plus f z square and and if you want to know the f in the unit factor you can use this equation so you can write the f here which will be f x i plus f y g per f z j if you know the information about the angle we can use the f i cos theta s j cos theta y and f k cos theta z and such in the previously we can uh change this uh symbol of cos theta s we can write also like this it's so a cos theta x, which will be L. The cos theta x will be L, cos theta y will be M, and cos theta y, uh, cos theta z will be N. So we can change this equation to be to be like this. F is will be equal to F L I plus M J plus N K. Or in the most simplest equation, we can write this. We can write this f it will be equal to f times n f where the n f is here it will be revert to the unit factor the unit factor all of this uh, direction and how to solve the three D problems actually we have two ways here the first thing we have we can use the specification by two point uh, but please remember we can use the first if we know the two point it's mean that the starting point and the ending point because in here we will use the, the f and f it will be f times ab in the factor of that it ab uh, which is the square root of ab and the ab it will be revert to the x direction y direction and the z direction where the x2 minus xy revert to the starting ending point of x uh, it subtract well the starting point of x to be revert to the xy and y and it will be the z and divided by the square root of all of the square of a b in x y and z direction so we will get a number of f the amount of f and in the second way, if we don't know, we don't get any information of the points, uh, the specification of the point, we can use the specification by two angles which are into the line of action of the force. So in this uh, case, we can uh, assume that the angle of theta and the angle of phi here unknown. So to resolve f here, we have to resolve in the horizontal and vertical component first so it means we have to solve the vertical is fz and the horizontal here is uh, revert to the fxy f cos phi and the fz it will be f sinus uh, phi and after that because we have to find the fx fy and fz is not a fxy so the fxy here have to be break it down to the fx and fy where the fx such as in the previous in a two-dimensional equation we can get the fx is fxy cosine theta and fy is fxy sine theta we have the xy here so the fx it will be sine uh, cosine theta and the fy will be cosine theta a uh, sine state answering me or if you want to find directly from the f to get the fx so we can use the f cosine phi times 
cosine is 5. So you will have this equation first. And the second one for the fy, we can use f cos phi and the f sinus theta. If cos phi and the f sinus theta, we will have the, uh, the number of fy directly. And for the dot product, if you have the product of two factors many two times the cosines of the angle between them, it will be called uh, as a dot product or scalar product. So we can express this to find the p times p dot uh, q. It will be p q cosines theta because there is uh, we have to times the cosines of angle between them. Is a rule of the dot product. Okay, I want to bring you to the more general terms that. For example, in this figure, you have the n as a unit factor. So if you want to know the projection of f in n direction, so the f n, it will be f time, uh, f dot n, right? And then, it is the direction only of the f. But if you want to know the projection uh, the of f in a factor quantity in a n direction, it will be f equal to f dot n times n. Please remember because we will found many problems, we will find many problems uh, later by using this equation. So it is the projection of the factor quantity of n to the n direction. At the angle between two factors, I want to use this equation that if you, if you use the f n here, So if you want to find by this uh, equation, you have f dot n is f n cos theta by using the dot product, and then by using the f n cos theta because the n actually here is will be one, for example, and then you will have the f cos theta for f dot n, and then you want to know the theta, so we can use this to be the theta cos to the power of minus 1 f dot n divided by f and in more general if you have the example like this one please remember that the f here is the p here is a theta the means of the cosines theta here is the projection of p to the p prime times uh, q or dot q here so to get the theta here it will be cosines to the power of minus 1 p dot q divided by pq. Okay, now we are coming to the example. I have the, the example here. The first example say that a force f is a magnitude of 100 newton is replaced at the origin of O of the axis x, y, and z as shown. So we have three here, uh, three axes, x and y and z. The line of action of f passes through a point A whose coordinates are 3, 4, 5. First is through uh, point A where the coordinate is 3, 4, and 5. Determine the A, the x, y, and the scalar component of F, B, the projection F, x, y of F on the x, y plane, and C, the projection F, O, B of F along the line O, B. Firstly, I want to solve the first Okay, this is how I saw how I solved the first question that F we have to know the direction of Fx and Fy and Fz. So we have to use the F uh, it will be equal to F and O E. F and OA because we have to know that the projection of unit factor F to X, Y, and Z. So we use all of the direction of the X, Y, and Z. Use the previous uh, equation that I have shown you and explained about this equation. 
and then we'll have the F here is a hundred for the given information of the, uh, the exercise uh, and then we have the 3, 4, 5 is the coordinate of x, y and z from a to the a point and divided by the root square of 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square and it will be 100 and we will have time this and we have the 42 comma 4 i plus 46 comma 6 g plus 70 comma 7 k newton so it means that it refer to the x is y and is z so the fx uh, the factor component of f to the x direction is the 42 comma 2 uh, the factor component of f to the x direction is 42 comma 2 newton uh, the factor component of f in the y direction is uh, 40, 46, uh, I'm sorry, 66 comma 6 newton and the factor component of f in the z uh, direction is uh, is uh, 70 comma 7 newton and now for the second question we have to know the projection of f x y on the x y plane And here actually we only want to get the factor component of f and f x y direction so we have to use the f cos x y theta cos theta x y but the problem is we don't have any uh, information about the theta x y so please use this equation please remember on uh, previously we have to discuss this uh, so we will get a 3 square plus 4 square where it is the root of that and the root of that is 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square because we only use the x and y but here we use x y and z of the coordinate and then after that we get the 0 comma 77 and then we use the multiplication of that is the f cos theta x y will be had that times 0 comma 7 oh 7 it will be 70 comma 7 newton and now for the third question you have to know the projection of f o b long line of f in a b o b And this is uh, the third question that we have to know the projection of FOB of F along the line of OB. So actually we only need this equation actually, but we don't have some information. So we have to find the NOB first, where the NOB is referred to the unit factor, to the unit factor of F along OB. So we have the 6, 6, 2, here is a 6. Uh, in the x direction here is a x a 6 in y direction is a 6 and the z direction is a 2 divided by uh, the root of square of 6 square plus 6 square plus 2 square we will have the 0 comma 6 x equal i plus 0 comma 6 x x g plus 0 comma 2 9 9 k and this color projection of f on op is like this it is this color for this color this color projection is the f ob if f dot n ob so we have the f first in the previously in the in the first question we have the f 42 comma 4i plus 46 comma 6j and 70 comma 7 k times n ob where n ob revert to the unit factor of f along b ob 0 comma 6x i plus 0 comma 6x xg plus 0 0.299k and 
i times i it will be 1 j times j it will be 1 k times k it will be 1 so we can use this by using the 42,4 times 0, 0,6 x8 plus 46,6 times 0, 0,6 x8 plus 70,7 .7 times 0, 0,2799 it will be 84,4 newton for the f on ob in this color but the question is the projection fob of f long the line ob so it's mean that we have to know the projection as a factor i the question mentioned that it is a color so we have to finish here so it means it's solved but uh, if you want to know the factor projection of this so we have to continue to this one with fob it will be f dot n o b times n o b where the f is a 84,4 times n o b a unit factor of this is 0, 0,6 shi plus 0, 0,6 shg and then 0, 0,399 k and we will have 58,1 i plus 58,1 g and 19,35 k newton and now we are coming to the second example where in the second example here we ha I have the 70 meter microwave transmission tower uh, is stated by the three guy cable as shown the cable AB, AC and AD the cable AB carries the tension of 12 kN express the corresponding force on A as a factor so we have to uh, correspond this one in the projection of a factor quantity so it's easier than the previous uh, example because we have to find the tension only of the a cable AB. So the tension of cable AB will be T dot N AB. Okay, I saw this one that the T here is a given formation that the cable A, B have a tension is 12 kN and the 35, 25 and 60 is referred to the X, Y and Z direction. 35 here it is, is the X direction, 25 is Y direction and Z direction actually they have the difference length, the height head line here because actually from OA is a 70 but there is a difference length uh, height here that uh, in a C and a D length there is a 70 also in a O point but the B in a B point the higher 10 meters so it will be 70 minus 10 it will be 60 so we have use 60 here and we will uh, divided by the square root of 35 square plus 35 square plus 60 square and we have 5,69i minus 4,06g and minus 9,75k in a kilonewton so it river to the fx it river to the fy and also it river to the fz That's all. Thank you.